ability to spit venom accurately up to about four meters makes catching this snake very, very dangerous. You need to wash it out. Don't rub Don't it. Don't rub it. Yeah, that eye is yeah, well red. red yeah. Yeah. Catching spitting cobras are my least favourite. If you get spat in the eyes, it's extremely painful. It's, it's something like having sand and glass shards mixed with acid and thrown in your face. Got to be behind there, then. Can you see down the back there? Oh, yeah, I can see it right there. Oh, there we go. It's the first lot we've just spat. We try and secure these snakes as quickly as possible. However, as soon as you put a, a tongue on it or it knows you're there, they usually start firing. Right, here he's going to go. Watch out. Right, mind your eyes, everybody. Try and gently lift it up. I can't see what I'm doing now. Here he comes. Right. Maybe Where do you want to bring it to? Just pop it down there. And, OK. Done, done, done. Yes. OK, sorry, Snake. Just gently, gently. Right, I'm letting go. Right, here we go. No. Oh, yeah, there we go. Everyone was sort of getting sprayed with the cobra venom. It happened so fast. Oh, there we go. Do you see all that venom come out there, guys? You can see it's pouring out there, and there's actually a fang that has gone through the pillowcase, and there's a drop of venom there. And it's bag. Oh, and there goes another squirt. So it's really pumping venom now. We bagged the snake up, and then moments later, the cameraman had uh, already started complaining that his eyes were on fire. It actually landed on his forehead, but because he's sweating, it run down his face, behind his safety goggles, and into his eyes. Put the camera down. Don't rub it. You need to wash it out. Don't rub it. He's doing. If it gets really in your eye, I don't want to touch you. Ready? Watch the camera, guys. Yeah, just come that way a little bit. That's it. You right? It's a bastard. Ah. Yeah, that eye's nice well red. red yeah. yeah. It burns like hell. Comes the middle. And that's why they are my worst snake to catch, because of their ability to fire venom into your eyes. He was lucky. He only probably got a drop or two. That's all it takes for extreme burning pain and discomfort for the whole day. Yeah, it's like getting a piercing, but in your eyeball, it just burns like a hole. If you get, like I did in the past, two jets in your eyes, then you could be out of action for a couple of days.